Go seven, king of the game. I believe in you. That's what he'll say. Nice and kind, leading cobalt ice. He's a blue, cute, and deadly little guy. See through the fog, old gods he slay. Go seven, go seven, go seven, go seven. Go seven, go seven, go seven. Go seven. Go seven, king of the game. I believe in you. That's what he'll say. Nice and kind, leading cobalt ice. He's a blue, cute, and deadly little guy. See through the fog, old gods he slay. Go seven, go seven, go seven, go seven. Go seven, go seven, go seven. Go seven. Go seven, king of the game. I believe in you. That's what he'll say. Nice and kind, leading cobalt ice. He's a blue, cute, and deadly little guy. See through the fog, old gods he slay. Go seven, go seven, go seven, go seven. Go seven, go seven, go seven, go seven. Go seven, king of the game. Hey. Mech race is today, yes. <laughs> Join Purple Lightning instead. How could you? I right, got there's our music. Why Nova? No. <laughs> hello, hello. Hope everyone's doing well. Hail our king. King of the penguins. This was, this replay was submitted like 40 minutes ago. So got to it really fast. Although <laughs> I don't know who it was submitted by. How am I? Uh, I mean, the plan is to just keep working away at it, Rishi. There's no, there's no other way to deal with it. It has, it did grow quite a bit. I, I, st I do still have the limitation on just one replay per person at a time. Can't do much better than that. Yeah, I still get surprised by the size of the queue. Yeah, there's a lot of games out there. There's a lot of games out there. We do we we do some honest penguin work here trying to work away at the the replay queue. Uh do you think I'll ever bring back don't make me get my main? I might in the summer if I have a if I have a free summer. If I don't have a free summer, then I won't. I guess I, I could take him, bring him back in the summer and just not do 25 games. <laughs> I could do that too. Are you guys enjoying watching me play League in the Global League? Yeah, that was. That was when I was on break. It was, it was nice. 
Am I done with finals? Uh, I'm done with finals from last term. Uh, I think I have midterms. Either next week or in two weeks. Hans Waldman is your alt, okay. Very nice. Big word given. Are you the person that submitted? Are you Spare on Discord? Oh, I can't tell you. We just have the same name. Finals of University. I assume is what. <laughs> what Rishi was talking about. <laughs> the Ghost Seven guy keeps getting his games featured. I know. It's very nice when people have the same name in all all areas. It's like Go7. You always know you're talking Go7. You're not on the Discord. Oh, so then it must have been Doug Trio Doug Trio Ramen who sent it in. In which case I'll swap them around. Like so. Yeah, Spayer said that you guys were friends. Oh, uh, I'm a math major. Currently, and once I, this will be my last term and then, well, assuming I have all my credits, <laughs> this will be my last term uh, for the bachelors and then it's on to a master's in education. I think we should pressure Shadow to change their advanced words by web name the shadow well, why aren't you on the discord are you just not allowed oh did did walker not let you change your name how old am i i'm a 31 educated penguin <laughs> and then with the masters in hand I'll be ready to take basic edition and subtraction. Oh, thank you. I have to teach it, yeah. <laughs> you should see the 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 standards that the they're hoping to reach for computer science for students is absolutely outrageous. You have 31 2, it had the same versus? The Masters of Math, hey! I don't have a Masters yet. The chat is secretly filled with Master of Math alts. <laughs> oh, same education. Nice. Yeah, I was definitely a late bloomer when it came to actually getting through uh, college and, and high school. What's my favorite area of math? Um, I really like number theory. But also like uh, some of the more Maybe like multiplication algorithms and different uh, mathematical bases would be fun, or just number systems in general. Topology is right is really cool. You can't you can't deny that topology is very cool. Number theory, <laughs> number theory is awesome. I think game theory is pretty good. But I haven't I haven't really gotten into game theory. The only math you like is when you're adding up the customer's bill. There you go. Okay. Five seconds I'll get into it because we've been sitting here for ten minutes.
Your bachelor's thesis. Oh no. I can understand getting off Discord if it's taking up too much time. That's just a Oh. Uh, he said name changes aren't something done unless the name is inappropriate. Ah, oh, I'm so... I'm so sorry. Thus, last. I thought, uh, I thought Walker would be okay with that, but I can understand him not wanting to get a ton of requests. <laughs> the epic background music and it changes to the very nice little piano okay we'll we'll hop right into this we have an adder mirror on the map caustic finale which um more and more i've started to think is as the meta for this map has kind of developed it, it seems more and more like a jake map because of how many artilleries end up being used here What's this race you're promised? Uh, you'll see. So we'll see how the adders end up uh, playing it. Adder, of course, would have the benefit of you end up like using mechs and also, of course, just having a cheaper movement uh, power with the tanks. There's kind of a standard opening for this map, although that's now considered standard where you uh, kind of rush this corner and have an artillery backing it up to take it, and then both players do that. Ooh, Doug Trio Ramen uh, doing a nice city skip to get a uh, good foothold in this corner. This is a really nice city to take because as long as you take it early, the artillery can't deny you from taking it. And then it's one that you can... It's a city you can actually hold long term, where this corner city is m a much uh, harder task to hold on to. Looks like both players are doing the same move there. Oh, here we go. We have the artillery built with uh, with this infantry going for this city right now instead of doing a walk by. The other thing you can do here is you walk by this city to threaten the corner city, and then you build an infantry here to go for this city, and the artillery gets built here, and it just moves up. You played live for most of the match. Uh, I have, don't know. I mean, this is one of the old Hell Raider maps. There's quite a few of them. I don't know if I would call this perfect map design, but it's a very popular map for sure. I think it's definitely a, a, a like a map making, meta defining, mix based kind of uh, kind of map for sure. I think this uh, the artillery opening on this map might be a little a little strong because there's also tank and there's recon openers, but the amount of advantage you get off of those openers. Don't really compare to winning an entire corner. So that might be a little bit of a problem. Ooh. This is interesting. So the artillery moved up to uh, threaten this city, I guess, which does give hands this choice of potentially going down here and just hitting this artillery and then it forced the artillery to back off and then the infantry would hit him and you go back to your city or more likely what's going to happen is that this infantry is going to go back onto the city and start capturing it like so in which case i don't know what the artillery gets for being here okay now hans has decided to go sit on this city which i don't like Um, I think I would prefer if the artillery moved over here. That way it can still threaten to shoot this infantry once it finishes capturing. It's n and it won't be blocking the city capture when it fires. Where in this case, if this artillery attacks, this infantry doesn't get to go for this capture. The idea might be just to 
to just shoot and then have the infantry strike here. But you could do the same thing over here and still leave the city capture open. Okay. Ooh, we have an... Okay, slight difference here. Doug Trio Ramen is going for uh, an artillery in this central brawl area. This is another part of the map that I don't think is super well designed, is these two bases being so close, close to each other, but it's okay. Uh, that's besides the point. So we have a, a difference of approach here. Uh, they both go for artillery infantry, but the artillery is being built on different bases. Uh, both players went for this city capture right away, which means neither of them is going to have a real advantage in going for this city. The map cultists. Mr. Greensuit, I believe you're talking about the map committee. Okay, there we go. We got tank and artillery combined together to go for this city. So this means that hands can, of course, uh, deny or interrupt this capture, but it will start a nasty brawl over here. Um, this artillery can come up and support these infantry as they go for this, which will stop the tank from getting involved, but this artillery will be able to shoot at these, at these infantry. So it's going to be a, there potentially will be a big old brawl over the city, which is pretty classical or typical, I guess, of this map. Um, but it's also possible that Hans is just not going to want to engage here. Um, so they did the same thing. They both put their artillery on the city, which I still don't like because now you can't threaten to take the city if you use your artillery. Okay. Um, we had the this one do the first strike. Does it matter which of these is injured more? Probably not. You if this is at 7, it invites the tank to one-shot it. If it's at 9, the tank can't one-shot it. But either way, the 9 can be one-shotted by this artillery. Oh, no, it can't, probably, because the uh, comm tower is protection captured again. I think this is fine. Usually, I prefer to have the healthier infantry closer to the enemy in comparison to the injured infantry to try and make sure they both survive. But I don't think that that's really that much of an option in this situation anyway. Ooh, yeah, okay, so because there's no comm tower yet, it does live. The hit. Okay, so the NC did go for this attack. Oh, well, in this case they both Oh, <laughs> for a second there, I thought they were going to both live. But yeah, of course, you don't continue the capture with the two health infantry. Just kill this one off. Looks good. And then we have the double swing in here. Uh, and what happened there is this artillery didn't get to fire. It had to step off the city, so they just got to go for the capture, which then gave the trio ramen a chance to interrupt. And we have another buildup around this other highly contested city. Why go Adder and build so many artillery? Well, I think the artillery... This is why I was saying I was surprised by the Adder... The Adder picks is because this map has progressively become more and more artillery heavy and Jake would be better in that regard. It's the same thing that we saw with uh, the Sif versus oh, well, who was Sif fighting? Well, the Sif game we saw last time, where they both, I think they both went at her, and both built a bajillion artillery. Raka, there we go. Okay, so we do have the brawl starting up. 
with uh, both, player, both players committing vehicles in. This can be very, very volatile. Um, I think that... Dectria Ramen has a really good attack here because you can kill off these two infantry using your own infantry and then have... Well, and or the artillery too. I guess you could kill off all three of these infantry, which would be huge because then there'd be no more infantry in this area. And then you can use the double tank to kill this tank and this artillery would not get to hit any of that stuff. So that seems really strong to me. I'll see what uh, Dugtrio Ramen does. Let's stop this this capture. Let's go for that kill. Go for that kill and then kill off this. Oh, I guess you can't actually kill this guy without um, blocking one of the tiles you need to attack with the tank, but you can still hit him. He goes up here. Very nice pick off. Well, not pick off, but defense of uh, the infantry. Unfortunately, captures the comm tower at the end, but I don't think there was any failed rolls, so it didn't matter. Okay, so this does mean that this tank doesn't die, but it could be that, well, no, I think that's just a mistake, because now this tank doesn't do anything. Or I guess it's just going to be that the tanks don't attack. Because this guy can't just... You can't just do a single attack and then get blown up by artillery. That would be really sad. Okay. Just didn't do anything. But now there's no more infantry over here for Hans. So the best that Hans can... Hans Waldman can kind of achieve here is to deny this property. But there's no threat of ever capturing it. Third already was actually a misclick. Okay. Um, Dark Trio Ramen, no fear. Marching on in here. There's a lot of infantry available to attack over here. So I would be a little bit tentative of going in like that. Okay, the artillery backed up. It didn't have to fire, so I guess it's just getting out of this infantry range. Yeah, a lot of nice swings here for the infantry. Probably put this one on the city to heal. Like so. Very nice. Come on in. Take some big swings. Yeah. This is looking very good over here for Hans. Although I think this... No, the tank can't actually reach. There are tanks available to get involved. This infantry was not hit um, that's really good for Doug Trio Ramen because that sets up a really annoying block on this forest or on this plains or wherever it wants to go over here. And there's also a lot of artillery. So I don't know if you can quite do it, but you can almost set it up currently where you can block this tank in and then just bring artillery over. Because it only takes one turn for an artillery from this base to lock this base, which is very volatile. And there's an arty party on its way. Oh, there's an arty party for yellow. There's an arty party on its way to fight it. Ooh, that's a nice swing. So this is one of those things that you, you do with another attack at the same time, because otherwise, Oh, that, uh, I don't like that. But I do not like this attack, because this artillery is just going to heal up to seven, and they will still be able to, to fight, and then all the tanks are still plenty healthy. I think this is an overextension by Doug Trio Robin, from what I can see. I'd much rather just kill off this tank rather than hit, uh, kill one infantry and then hit an artillery on a city. That's that's me. Definitely want to run away over here. So these are the kind of attacks that you don't want to go for, because if you're looking at this, you're like, I'm going to run in. 
And I'm gonna kill this, even if you kill it. Kill a 7 health infantry. But it's gonna cost you your full health infantry to do so. Uh, like this guy's also moving into range of all these infantry, especially because Hans is gonna have the power. So even this guy gets to be involved over here if it wants to, although it's already in involved in this attack. So I think Doug Trio Raman's about to get absolutely blown out over here, which is kind of a shame because they were in a really nice position having the only infantry in this area to actually go for these captures. King Rex, it gotcha. I will not review your, review your game unless you're here. Zoom. Smack, smack. So the reason coming up to help defend this. I'm going for the capture. Smack, going for the capture, and uh, I would kill this infantry. Or at least, yeah, I think 9 and 7 with power will kill this. 2, 3, 4, 7, and that blocks off the tank. Um, probably should just kill off the infantry with the full... Oh, I guess you can come down here. Come down here, kill this, and then have this guy come in like this. 3, 3, 4. That doesn't matter. I just don't like having the uh, mountains available to be struck from. I would probably use this artillery to uh, like shoot this tank before hitting it or shoot this tank before hitting it. Okay, never mind. Well, if it's in the way, then it's in the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, then moving that makes more sense. That was a very good turn for Hans, for Hans. And yeah, the tank, this is also fighting within the immediate reinforcement range of double bases. Which hurts a lot. Because every turn, every turn you're closer to your opponent's reinforcements and uh, farther from your own, it costs you a turn of production and gives them a, pretty much an extra turn of production. So it changes the unit count effectively. Nice kill on the artillery, though. There we go. We got a tank. There's the block in. Very nice. You get to... Oh, it doesn't quite kill that off. Infantry goes for the kill. It gets it. Start this capture. So this doesn't quite work because uh, this artillery is present. Oh, no. All the infantry have to run away from this incoming attack. Full health goes in to, to slow it down a little bit. A recon belt down here. Desperate times for Doug Trio Ramen over here, but then the, the fight is still like, as you can see, very overextended. <laughs> Literally right next to the base. Odds doesn't have uh, a power out available right now. I do like the Hans decided not to uh, commit anything down here to try and protect this this corner. If you just can't, sometimes it's better to just let stuff go than lose units trying to delay it. This is a very nice play because it frees this tank to come out, hit this artillery, you can probably do it from the forest. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually a lot better from the forest, although, um, oh, did, I, well, okay, that's fine. Wanted to come in here and hit it with another tank. That's okay. I was going to say, it's better from the forest, but at the same time, Dr. Raman does have enough charge for another adder normal power next turn. So it doesn't make a huge difference. This tank would still be able to interact. And there we go. Lots of tanks. Although Recon doesn't quite stop this capture. Okay, that will, that will slow it down for now does unfortunately cost a whole recon. You have the tank strike. We did a lot of damage. Oh no! The artillery survives. I mean, it's not that that big of a deal 
because it's not like you really want to send your tanks in here, but it's very sad. A medium tank up here would be good. I mean, yeah, I could see a medium tank being good. Okay, this looks like a pretty nice block uh, uh, block in because I don't think the five health tank can sacrifice itself. So, yeah, this guy's being a really good blocker. I mean, he'll. It, it, I guess it's not that great. It forces. It's just gonna force a base skip to kill this infantry, and then the tanks can like wrap around and start clearing this up. There we go. There we have a nice medium tank from Doug Trio Ramen. Side slip from Hans. Doing really good over here. Does come down to interrupt this capture. For that strike. Oh, doesn't want to go for the base skip. Okay. Let's have a nice pressure over here and then step off. Yeah. Join. Sure, that's fine. Well, actually, it's not that great. <laughs> Let's block it off with the. Uh, artillery this still dies in one hit to this infantry so it's better to just have two different uh one hittable infantry rather than one smack going together smack okay looking very good hans is going to get this city very good pressure so it pretty much just comes down to whether or not hans can stay alive over here i think this would probably be a time to grab a medium tank or like a rocket over here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Never mind. The rocket right there. And there's a. It does require a base skip on the left, but uh, if you're gonna base skip, it definitely the base that has absolutely nothing going on is the, the one to do with that. The Trio Robin does get this harbor and city, which is a huge income swing for now. And when you get this harbor. It does let you threaten to build an offensive battleship. Which is pretty scary because it covers this HQ and it, it immediately locks this base on build. Barely doesn't do this one. Okay, really good use of just hugging this base to force base skips or artillery gets taken out. It's gonna die for its if its efforts, but we tried. Okay, we build just an infantry over here, which is a little daring. Okay, so this rocket can free this base, which is pretty nice. It'll probably it basically has to base skip the fire here, probably to kill this tank. And then you can kind of kill this tank to free this tank and then start working your, your way out through here and build a medium tank. Although, I guess the medium tank's really rough at this stage because, I mean, it's it's going to be medium tank triple base skip, I think, is the play. Unless you can just join stuff. Ooh, getting the comm tower over here is nice. I'm not quite sure why this artillery didn't fire so that you wouldn't lose health there. Three, four, five, six. I see. So that's that has to move up so that this tank can't go up and hit the rocket. Makes sense. Oh, I think that's a mistake. But I mean, it's not a huge mistake. I think it's better. I mean, I could be wrong. I think it's better to kill this and then have full health tank kill the four. And then, uh, I thought there was a way to kill this artillery, but I could be wrong. Yeah, there's the medium tank triple base skip. I think that was basically forced. Oh, no, the infantry died. Whoa. I'm not quite sure why this artillery is coming down here like this, because the recon can beat it up.
I mean, I know it's trying to, like, shield this infantry from getting hit by the recon. It's probably a worthy sacrifice. The idea... I, I imagine the idea is the only fight that matters right now, the Hans, is this one. So getting this comm tower, even at the sacrifice of the vehicle in the region. Yeah, this is also live play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is such a thing even possible? We zoom in here. Nice kill on that tank. Got that tank kill too. Wow. Oh, this is very scary. Start tapping the HQ, even gets to hit the rocket. And then build battleship? Maybe? Ooh. That has to be a misplay. Because <laughs> now the artillery and this infantry gets to be this, re this recon, and then this guy just blocks here as the capture continues. There we go, we do have the battleship. I probably would have joined <laughs> some stuff together, but, <laughs> but okay. It was a battleship quad base skip. There's the offensive battleship. Yeah. Um, I think that's just GG, because I don't think Doug Tree or Ramen can actually do anything to stop this HQ cap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That's why I, you kind of have to join some stuff together so you can still build something over here. But that's that's live play for you. <laughs> There's the GG missile. Oh, Doug Trio Ramen, how could you? Shooting the GG missile. The, uh, I'm not quite sure what, uh, what getting the power is going to do here, but there's a massive effort to get it. There's the GG. It was just attack everything and then resign. It happens. GG. <laughs> the battleship cost the game. But the you know, the battleship is very hype. You see it, you see the build, you're like, oh I gotta go for that. Just went battleship crazy. Yeah. I understand it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can still go for the battleship play. I think it's fine. It does lock a whole bunch of stuff down. You just have to join stuff so you can actually build and defend your HQ. B ship counters the rocket. GG. <laughs> How quickly... How quickly the, the tables can turn. And you could also you could also bring stuff back to defend the HQ. That's true. But that's I mean the tunnel vision hits us all. That was an interesting one though, because it started off with a lot of artillery and then it transitioned to a lot of tanks. How quickly the turns have tabled. Okay, we have Leary, who is already uh, Yellow Comet. So I believe this is Brother Dragon, I'm not quite sure. Um, got Leary against, I think this is Brother Dragon. 
playing Sasha on Settles as Stillwater version 2. Hawk versus Sasha. Uh, now, the question mark just means that the name is in characters that the program doesn't recognize. I should have the character on the uh, replay queue because I can put that there. Oh, it's Lance. Oh, this is Lance. Gotcha. Oh, V3 doesn't have a cluster of three cities in the middle. Gotcha, gotcha. You can kind of regret doing it immediately. Okay. So the, the big change, I think there was some smaller changes, but the big change in version two is that instead of starting with a black boat, you start with a lander, which lets you transport uh, vehicles instead of just and kind of opens up some more lines of play. And that was done because the map was feeling kind of stale with uh, kind of a solved opening. And then the lander just kind of mixes it up enough. Okay. Uh, and this is the Lash, or not Lash, this is Hawk versus Sasha, which usually favors Sasha because Hawk does rely on his powers pretty heavily. And Sasha can, of course, shut those down. But if uh, Sasha ever messes up at an inopportune time controlling Hawk's power, the game can kind of just completely collapse for Sasha <laughs> on the spot. People did not save up for landers, no. I mean, some people did. But it's always very risky to save up for a lander. Because if you save up for a lander and then they just leave the front, then you just spent 12k that can't um, front switch. Okay, so you have pretty much this. Well, not, not quite the same. So Leary is going for a drop off of triple infantry and then switching, or then capturing this harbor and switching which harbor this lander ends up going to for the next pickup. where uh, Lance is delaying these harbor captures. I think I prefer delaying the harbor captures because you want to get established over here. We do have the very fast recon from Leary is actually going to get this nice interrupt on this uh, capture, like so. Yeah. The tank is just going to show up a turn too late to protect that infantry. And I think that's something that Lance could have predicted because I mean this recon opener is what the original meta for the map was. It pretty much always did a well it was a double recon opener but there was always a fast recon and it usually would hit this spot. So what you can do instead is just send your infantry to capture a different property so that your tank has time to show up. Okay. And then we have a delayed double recon that's going to attack in here following up a bunch of infantry. Okay, so that is probably a mistake from Leary because the recon is the only vehicle over here to kind of contest any of these captures. And while it does kill all, well, it's not necessarily a mistake. The, the, the problem is this infantry pretty much wants to move here to anyway to, to like get in range of the middle properties and by doing so it will reveal the recon and then the tank is to hit the recon so it's not like a huge mistake because you do kill off this infantry which is good but you're gonna lose all of your pressure uh, because of the following up turns there it goes the smack down to one it does survive which is good so it, can, it won't have any pressure on the other infantry in the area, but it will still... The lander didn't move, which is a little weird. I guess it just... 
as decided. Uh, which harbor it wants to go back towards? I guess it wants to go back to this one. The things you could do instead of just sitting here is you can pop into the lander and then move up here and drop your infantry off aggressively in this forest to uh, potentially take out this capture once this recon retreats. You go tank and then this infantry can strike and kill it off and then you suddenly got a nice foothold over here. Just so that the lander's not doing nothing while waiting for the harbors to clear. You could also just not capture both harbors at the same time. There's lots of ways to do it. Okay, so this infantry, uh, this recon does live, which is really good. So it can still be used for vision. And then we have artillery and tanks. So it looks like Theory's plan is to mainly invest in attacking up here and just have a single tank defending the bottom. But yeah, you can see now since this now since this recon got bopped by this tank, the uh, the middle is open for being uh, captured. Although in this respect, in this case, I don't think this is the right play. I think the tank and this infantry should probably kill this guy off. Okay, so both players are kind of investing heavily on their top and bottom which we'll see if this translates into attacking into the corner or if this is going to be like a wrap around and attack into the middle. I don't think it's well, it's got to be a, it's going to be a slight luck roll, but it's it's pretty likely that this will live at 1 HP. Cuz there's no comp tower. Leary defends the city capture, or that they defends the city, stops this capture from going through. And this is where uh, Lance and I have some nice opportunities to be annoying. Basically, you have recon infantry to kill this off, and then this infantry interrupts this capture to go for this capture. And then you keep you continue capturing here, and you just overload this tank, and it can't protect all of the, all of the property that it wants to. Okay, that's not what happened. What? So in this situation, it's well, it's super super safe to attack in with this recon because. Uh, no, well, it's not super, super safe. There could be follow-up to this tank, but if just a tank and nothing else hits my capturing infantry, I would suspect that there's only a tank here. So I would I would definitely attack here and attack in here to overload this tank and then continue capturing. Especially if you have your own tanks following it up. Now, I don't think I would continue capturing if I wasn't willing to attack in this turn. So yeah, that's fine to back off now. Uh, if you're not willing to go in. Ham. Okay, so it looks like Leary's focusing more on going for the center here. Do you have the copter being built? This tank ran up here and hit the pipe scene. Okay. Lance is now putting the uh, the pressure back up. It does reveal this tank. Goes for a nice heal. Kill off this recon. Rest in peace recon. And the tanks are all grouping together over here. This one does come up to go for a first strike from the city. It is going to die for this. Although, I, I mean, that's pretty much an un irresistible first strike. Can't really blame them. Yeah. What did this recon do? Oh, the recon zoomed over here to sit on the city and hit the pipe scene. Okay. There's a lot of pressure being put on Leary right now for these uh, two cities. Unfortunately, the backup for Lance kinda is 
got diverted into the center, I guess. So once the if these two get interrupted, there isn't much follow-up. Tank does get taken out. Okay. Which is very good for Leary, because that was the only tank up here for Lance. Yeah, these do get interrupted. There's not gonna be much follow-up, which is very good for Le uh, very good for Leary for holding this this corner. Looks like Lance kind of got. Um, well, I guess Lance can go for some first strikes here, which is pretty nice. But there's no infantry follow-up. Okay. You get the first strike, pow. And the first strike, pow. Very nice. Ooh, that's actually a two-hit KO. Okay, that's that's very good. Even without the infantry, I mean the infantry follow-up, that's still looking very nice. And then we have the market crash at the end of the turn. Sure. Stop the hawk from potentially building up any charge. And then looks like Lance's idea is to use Sasha's extra funding to go for tech ups because we have a very fast Neo tank rather than trying to like out vehicle count your opponent with lots of battle copters. Okay. Very, very good for Leary to attack in here because Lance revealed a lot of units down here. So there can't really be that much to uh defend on the other side right now. Good fallback. We have a nice wall of imagery, sure. Okay, in come the copters. There is one anti-air here. Fast Neotank drop-off. It's a little unfortunate because it wants to get dropped off here, but that's in vision of the tank. <laughs> Looks like Lance is thinking about it. Very forward artillery. This is yeah. This is where having those the infantry follow up be a lot closer would be nice because now these properties would be would be lances. The new tank does get dropped off in vision of the tank. It kind of guarantees that the, this neo tank is not going to get uh, a good hit. And instead, it's probably just going to get absolutely swarmed by copters. That is a weird play. So, now that tank is super dead. I'm not quite sure why it, uh, it stayed around over here for the Neo tank to attack. And then, yeah, the forward artillery does get hit by the tank, but this is really fine for Lance. Um, six health tank is going to die for hitting a f the artillery down to five, which can still be used to hit this infantry or can just go back and heal on the city. Oh, this this copter's barely out of anti-air range. Yeah, you don't really you don't want to lose a whole vehicle just to injure artillery. Now there's the comm towers under threat. I like it. There was a repair from the black boat before this guy goes down here to heal. Sure. Yeah, down goes that tank. And the artillery is still able to uh, deny this capture for a little bit. Okay, okay. Double anti-air in response to the copter. I got triple anti-air actually for Sasha at this point. I would probably decide to uh, scrap one of these, probably this one. Scrap one of these anti-airs, turn it into an infantry, and then build another copter. Just for that nice unit count. Okay, the double swing. 
clearing this city. It does expose these guys to the army. Okay, but Leary is kind of getting this nice central presence. <coughs> Which, uh, I mean, there are a lot of cities here. But it's also a very dangerous position to be in. Because you open yourself up to pincer attacks. Interesting. So the copters retreated to this side, which kind of... It, it's just a single copter over here to try and deal with this neo tank and an artillery, I guess. Oh, infantry came picked off. We have a little front switch into the center here. Neo tank hiding out in the woods. Tank anti-air. I'm surprised that uh, Lance is not going for this uh, bomb tower. I mean, there are some very imposing things here. But if I'm seeing like this copter doesn't reach and the medium tank doesn't reach, I'd probably go for it. I wouldn't do this though. That's I don't know what is going on there. If you're going to go into the middle with your vehicles, go into the middle with all the vehicles. Don't uh, move this artillery up and stuff like that. It was a scouting tank. Hello, ghost. Ooh. I didn't realize this tank got placed. This was a known medium tank. Yeah, this is why you go with, you don't like do the little half measures with the front switch. Because now everything that was left behind just gets beat up. Ideally, what you, you, what you want to do is you front switch here, and then this army is just trying to play catch up. And then these two armies beat up the middle army, and then they can both turn and attack the following army. So you have... Uh, get two 2v1s which is really good okay very good block by Leary to stop this neo tank from uh, infiltrating at least easily it might still be able to infiltrate because you have uh, the tanks that uh, tanks kill this tank and then tank plus Copter can kill off this infantry. Okay, now Lance has to be very careful for this turn because, for one, they just took a ton of damage, but also, Leary now has a lot of charge. And so you have to kind of balance how you want to uh, deal with this. Um, at this point, you can probably pop the power for the extra stats, if need be. But probably what, what uh, Lance is going to have to do, he broke the pipe seam, I guess, with the Neo Tank. Is uh, use the power and then do a very light buy this turn. Because this isn't going to... Oh, never mind, that did... Oh, oh, never mind. I didn't notice. Wait, did they... Base skip? Oh, they... Tri they triple base skipped. That I don't like. <laughs> I like the saving of money. I was going to say that they have to... They have to do a, a light buy this turn so they can wipe out the rest of uh, Leary's charge. <laughs> but... Uh, they should at least have built infantry. <laughs> but yeah, that's what you have to do when your opponent's getting a lot of charge. Yeah, they should at least build infantry. There might have been an auto end turn. 
But yeah, there goes all of the charge. And here comes some big buys. The mega tank and the bomber. Okay. Well, I'm sure that shook... <laughs> that probably shook Leary. Bomber for unit count, naturally, of course. Got to hit the anti which is really nice. Medium tank still got to get some good swings in there. Focusing on the anti Making sure to... Get as much possible damage with the copters. I like it. Okay. Maybe a little aggressive with the medium tank. I don't think there's any way in what uh, this current board state is to punish this. I guess Leary did kill the artillery over here, but probably thinks it's just like nothing but tanks and chopters. Pop, pop. Kill the artillery off. A nice capture. Hit the recon. Does get to see that this Neo tank can uh, hit this one. However, Lance can use this tank to occupy this forest, and then the only tile that this Neo tank can hit this other Neo tank from is this city, which would have an artillery staring at it, or use this tank instead. So that's uh. Kind of offering a Neo Tank trade here. Smack Rooney. I don't know about attacking down here because the, the, most of the army is up here. This is going to be very good for Leary. You get to clear the power bar again completely. The bomber's on its way. We're going to have a mega tank dropped off over here. Ooh, which is a. Another reason to do this. Wow, I would probably make it a little more tempting maybe for the Neo Tank to come in here because if I have a Mega Tank uh, lined up to hit it. Then I'd be pretty happy if it came in. <laughs> My high funds. Okay, wow, this medium tank has gotten so many good attacks. Okay, we do have the Neo tank going for the swing. And then, yeah, these units are going to get absolutely bopped. I think the copters can even get them. Actually, they can't. <laughs> I didn't realize the infantry are in the way. A little unfortunate. Actually, it's very unfortunate. That's a pretty scary attack moving in here. Even with so many anti airs, they've all been hurt. So Lance desperately needs to either like build a fighter or uh, heal up these anti airs. Goodbye, Neo Tank. Um. Quite sure. I mean, there's some possibility to predict the mega tank, but I think I also wouldn't think they'd build a mega tank. I think they'd build like double neo tank after they they wipe such a large bar. You see, you say your B copters boop. <laughs> okay, you have a hit on this medium tank. If you're gonna go for this attack. Then probably finish try and finish it off with the triple tank strike. Doesn't want to though. We do another market crash. Very nice power management from Lance so far. 
Another anterior. It's uh, the, this map still is uh, getting updated, so it's getting changed every now and again. 30k should wipe six bars. I need to look into how much it wipes. I think it scales with the opponent's total power charge or something like that. I've never looked into the exact, exact numbers. I would have much preferred if these tanks had killed off this tank. There's a nice copter dominance here for Leary. Recon does sacrifice itself to the mega tank, but it, this will drain the mega tank down to a single point of ammo. Ooh. So here, the mega tank should kill the copter. Or no, it doesn't quite kill copters. It kills landers. There's like three damage to copters, I think. I mean, the Neo tank in the Mega Mini. Get an artillery shot. It comes in, does go after the copter. That's three damage. Not sure why the one health copter went in there. Be very optimistic for that to get the kill. Lost vision of the mega tank. Probably not the best choice. Or not the mega tank, the medium tank. Probably not the best choice to go in and hit it with the bomber because it is just a six health medium tank. But I can't really blame uh, Lance for doing it. This is a really nice setup by Leary. Uh, locking down the one tile that uh, you probably get used to block access to the bomber. This bomber is going to die, which is really sad. Rest in peace, Bomber. Oh. Oh, no. Didn't even notice that, but yeah. Isn't going to be able to... Oh, that was probably why the copter went in for this attack, then. I was trying to get enough charge... to uh, get the Sasha power here. Wait, how short? Short 250. So could have got it by uh, having this infantry hit here. Oh, it's true. This anti air can also hit the copter. Oh, it might still. Oh, it does do it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, okay, okay. Whew. Or use the 4 HP 8 anti air. Never mind. It's all. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. They built first. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, that sucks. <laughs> it was doing such a good job managing the power. We've we've all been there though. The panic. Well, that's probably GG. That's that's what I'm saying with the Sasha matchup. The music, too, I know. It's, this is how it goes. Sasha messes it up, and then Hawk gets a surprise power in. Oh, the Hawk was in a pretty good spot before this, too. Rest in peace, Neo Tank.
rest in peace. Bomber lives at one. The entire dies to a copter. You hate to see it. Oh man, a complete breakthrough over here. At least these tanks survived. I say right as the tank gets hit. Well, that was a very good turn for Leary. Yeah, the Lance resigns after that. Okay. I, I know you're pain, Lance. I did the same thing against... Against, um... Oh my gosh, what was his name? Way back in the day. I don't even know if they still play. an H, I think, but it's not Hogat. Uh, I'll quickly find it. But yeah, I did the same thing where I, I was doing so well with the power and then I did a build and then I used and then tried to wipe their charge and just died off of that. I think it happens to everyone at least once, if not more. Make sure to attack with recon before <laughs> before resigning. Yeah. Hevel. You can't I mean you can't really see anything about this game, but Go seven versus Hevel, Sasha versus Hawk. The world's end fog. The only time I lost on this map. I know you're paid. Not pressing the button is the hardest skill to master. It's true. Um, but yeah, that on top of the, I think the the triple base skip really hurt as well. Was there anything else that didn't move? Or was it just a triple base here? Anti-air I guess these infantry didn't move. anti didn't move. So for the most part, it was just a triple base skip, but that still hurts. GG. Okay. Uh, Discord International Race 2022 version 2. Here we go. So, the way that this map works... Oh no, I can move this to the side. Make it a little bit bigger. So the way that this map works is that as soon as one person leaves, <laughs> the game ends. Oh, no, um, you have to march your mechs up this path with every other player having mechs along it that can be in one of two positions to... Uh, to hit your mech and your goal is you make it all the way up here and then you can capture a base and an airport and then just take everyone's HQs so it's kind of just luck making your way up this path but as you can tell depending on which pe which players end up leaving the game sometimes suddenly a path will become very clear <laughs> For example, let's say you are cynical boy, and you're like here, and you're like, "Oh, I'm at the I'm at the home stretch. I just have to win these like last two 50-50s. Um, it's not quite 50-50s because you do have 
you always have an alternative, a slower alternative route because you can wrap to here and then here and then to there and to there and to there. And to there, and to there. Uh, in which case, you'll never have a chance of running into the mechs. But you want to get there fast, so you usually go for the 50 50s. But let's say you're a cynical boy and uh, you make it to here and you're like, oh, do I r like risk it to, to get here faster and start waiting the game? But then random ways just like leaves because it's exhausting to play this game. And then these me these Megas are no longer here. You can just make it here faster. So what's this copter doing? So this copter is here because when this map was first made, uh, I was advising on it and I wanted to uh, have Cobalt Ice with a natural advantage on this map. And so they should get a T-Copter. So now there's a T-Copter in this corner. Which means that if you play Cobalt Ice, you should always pick Jess so you can keep your T-Copter alive. I see that AA01 Blue did not pick Jess and therefore should automatically forfeit playing as Cobalt Ice. Yeah, the T-Copter is Penguin turn advantage. I do see that there's been some CO bans here because when this map was first played, uh, you could pick Drake, and <laughs> there were lots of fuel problems. Do they not all have the same number of mega tanks anymore? Oh, the T-Copter can't do anything, but it's just nice to have it. Okay. So yeah, there's different routes you can take. There's a safe, quote-unquote, safe route that... Uh, you go here, and then your opponent goes here. There's turn advantage to it, of course, because if uh, Anton, who goes first for Habits, Anton goes here, Habits goes here, Anton goes here, Habits goes here, Anton goes here into this forest, the safe route, making sure no Mega Tank can hit. If Habits then also tries to go for that forest, Habits will get trapped on this mountain next to a mega tank and get taken out, which would be absolutely tragic. You do have the potential to scout. One, two, three, four. Actually, you don't. Wow, I thought you did. To see whether or not your opponent is jumping straight to the mountain or not. So there's, I mean, there's problems with the map, but uh, that's the idea. It's just supposed to be very a, a risky race up to the top to start taking HQs and win. If um, you can also notice that there's mega tanks in between these initial mountains, so as soon as someone leaves the game, which is going to happen because it takes forever, you can um, if 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 it's if they were the ones controlling the mega tanks, splitting your base away from someone else's, you can now walk there and just go kill their base. It's not balanced. What? But yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, rain is permanently on, by the way. Now you can see this. Okay, so you would be able to tell if... Uh, oh, here, I will... Oh, we should also look at our heroes. In Orange Star, playing as Sammy, we have Cynical Boy. And then in the blue pants, we have a Rishi is here. In the green helmets, we've got content 725. In the yellow comets, we have random ways playing as adder. We had tr triple adder and one Sammy so far. We have playing as black hole over here. We have air master 41 and then playing as red fire with the red hair. We have rhizomatic playing Jess right here and then also playing Jess, we have um, Ray Sky right here with Habits, and then we have Zeko playing as Sonia with Brown Desert, and then we have Kyre Nine playing as Grim right here with uh, what's orange? No, oh, this is Amber Blaze. And then we have Lost and Found, the legend, playing as Jade. What are they called? 
Jade's son, of course. <laughs> we have AA01 Blue playing as Cobalt Ice of the Penguins. Sonya just cheats the... Sonya doesn't cheat this unless the power is active. Um... Unless you're talking about the Mega Tank can see? Can the Mega Tank? No, the Mega Tank can't see because the rain diminishes it. Yeah. It's plus one, minus one. And then in the, uh, the pink, we have Eliminator. Or no, it's Emilinator. And then in playing as Sasha. Ooh, Sasha from more mechs. And then we have Lightning Strike playing as Teal Galaxy. There is Teal Galaxy. There it is. With Sammy. And then we have Average Player 07 playing Adder right here as Purple Lightning. And then we have Haluo playing as uh, Asik. What is it? It is acid. Oh, it's acid rain. Um, where are you, Greeny? There you are. I think it's Adder. And last but not least, we have JJ Empire 64 playing as White Nova and Adder right here. I'm going to change this to not keep order static, so we will always see who the active player is at the very top. Yeah, they will all one-shot the Mexon Mountains due to the extra calm towers here. Here we go. Everyone gets a free move out here. The first decision you make is whether or not you want to build an infantry or if you would like to uh, save your money to build more mechs. You make 2,000 funds a turn, so you can make a mech every other turn. About. Uh, but instead, you can decide to go infantry to step onto this mountain. It will die to the mega tanks, but that will give you charge faster. Let the race begin. Here we go. All the mechs taking their free step. There's no danger in taking this step. Ah, the first person to start shuffling around their mega tanks to throw people off. We have the Zeko mega tank moves. One, Kyre 9 decides to move one mega tank. It is no longer in a predictable spot. Okay. Over here we have another little shuffle. Everyone has made their first. Almost everyone's made their first move. There we go. More shuffling going on. And JJ. All right, Cynical Boy is going to be able to afford another mech. Uh, huge, huge risky play here available for Cynical Boy. Do they think that for zero reason whatsoever, <laughs> there's no reason to move this mega tank up because there's zero chance for the mech to make it to this tile? So, does Cynical Boy think for absolutely no reason did Lightning Strike move the Mega Tank up? No. Cynical Boy is not going to go for the most absolutely risky read ever. Oh no! A A01 Blue put the mech on the mountain in between the Mega Tanks? Why would you do that? Don't! <laughs> Oh, the penguins! I mean, I guess that will give you some more charge, but you don't want to do that. Oh, no! Rishi is here with the major blunder, going for the absolute... The absolute Chad Reed of, of this mega tank moving up for no reason. And then killing the penguin in frustration. Content not making the same blunder. Ah, oh, Random Ways is making the exact same blunder. <laughs> okay, not... Air Master's not making the blunder. Rhizomatic did make the same blunder, but saved. Because 
because Zeku did actually move the Mega Tank for absolutely no reason. Alright, Habits now shifts the Mega Tank up, predicting that, uh, that this mech will go for the uh, further step. Ah! We had someone else go for the very risky play. It happens. It happens. This is the first hurdle. It, it's never a good play to go for that first that first hurdle there. All right, A zero one blue has the mech by here. We're gonna start seeing a lot of mechs getting killed off. All right, I guess we've seen them die. I just haven't caught it. No, lightning strike. Why? Ooh, <laughs> this mega tank is being overloaded. It is. It has too many options. The trick is to be in a group DM with half the players. Wow. Now the Sonya Mega won't have two vision because it's raining. All right, down goes that mech. We'll see if anyone actually manages. Oh, JJ Empire 64 has to choose between killing average player's mech or killing random ways. Some serious favoritism here goes after average player over random ways. Absolutely unfair. Random ways, of course, uh, one of those higher level players. Uh, and then also walks the mech right into the mega tank. Here we go with Cynical Boy going with the safe path here. And we can see the turn advantage <laughs> playing its part. Air Master is now in a world of hurt with this infantry. However, because this uh, Havits tank did decide to switch up to this mountain, even if this mech gets caught here with the trap, it will not actually die. So there is some safety here. You also have the opportunity at this point to, instead of making your way up the gauntlet, you can start attacking in someone else's area. It doesn't benefit you. But if you don't want them to win, that's the way to go. Okay, we do have an early lead with Rishi is here, which... I don't think it should have been possible. I'm pretty sure. Wait. Rishi is here. Were you in a conversation with average player and then they didn't hit your mech? Didn't you? You 100% moved your mech next to this mega. Am I wrong? I gotta quickly go back. Wow, what is, what is this? Diplomacy, oh my gosh. Dirty plays here in the international mech race. Yet you, you hate to see it, you hate to see it. You, you want to see an honest, this mech is sacrificed to the greater gods, <laughs> the greater gods. Um, the greater good. You want to see an honest race. What happens instead? Bribery. This is why we can't have the players in charge of of the obstacles. Oh no! Habits with the soul read on Air Master. Somehow this infantry actually made it through the gauntlet. I guess neither of these mega tanks wanted to kill the infantry. Teamers cringe. I know corruption as early as turn three. Okay, but but we do have three people neck and neck. Random ways. A cheater. 
and Rhizomatic. All neck and neck <laughs> charging towards the HQs. <laughs> ah, clearly there is no diplomacy happening over here. Have its kills off the mech. Ooh, we have our first our first loss of a player. Zeku has left the game. You will notice Zeku leaving the game has now opened up the opportunity for average player and lost and found can now fight each other and attempt to kill each other <laughs> right here. So what, what can you do? There's a few ways to do it. You can move your mech here and then wait you can even just use an infantry but you can move here and watch as their mechs go by and wait for when they're going to have to to have a pause in production because you only have 2,000 income per turn and then you can just walk on and capture their base Okay, and then also, now no one has to worry about uh, any obstacle that had Deco in charge. So like over here, Deco have, what happens to, was Deco in charge of both, Deco was right here, okay, so Deco was in charge of both of these lanes. So both of these lanes are now free to just march forward, which is really nice because this is early on in the race. Uh, do keep in mind that once you have, once you kind of get your first mech across here like this, for instance, and then you have your mechs kind of trailing together, you can guarantee that you never run into the mega because you'll know the, the spot you were just in was, was either a, so, a safe spot or the mega moved up to then threaten it. So you know where you can move to uh, get by. Well, we have our first we have our first conflict between the lanes. Who is that? A millinator attacking poor poor innocent JJ Empire 64. <laughs> Lightning strike shuffling the, the the later mega tanks. Just fine. Shuffles this mega tank trying to catch cynical boys sneaky mech. Uh, where is their own? Oh, they did get bopped. So they have to start from the beginning. Hello, making making it to this mech, uh, this mountain. So in second place, Titan second place currently. JJ Empire sixty four <laughs> got hit by this mech and then got taken out by the mega due to going for the very risky rush forward. <laughs> Cynical boy going for the very safe approach. It's slow, but it's safe. The guaranteed way to make it, unless you're a cheater like Rishi is here. Does Rishi is here just step? Watch, watch. If you step here and the mega doesn't hit you. Okay. Okay. Random ways did not fall for the bribery of Rishi is here. <laughs> Content moved right next to the mega. Occupies both mountains. Sure. What does random ways do? Shuffles a little bit. Goes for the risky play and is and is safe because of it. Uses the infantry. <laughs> to lock the mega in place I guess there might be communication between random ways and JJ to try and shut down poor innocent average player 07 okay Air Master trying to make it past this first hurdle. It's difficult. 
we we all know and this is where you can see here right Zematic moved the mega up here seize this mech this now gives habits i mean habits already had all the information they needed but now they know exactly where this mech needs to go it can go here the mega won't be able to hit it and this is how as long as you clear the hurdle and you have a constant stream of mechs for the most part you will always clear the hurdle which makes makes it look uh the race much more consistent in the follow-up than the the leading the leading mechs which are of course very risky okay the penguins also trying to make their way up here a millinator shuffling forward very safe a millinator might be going for something very cheeky which is to just go into this forest and park here just to shut down poor jj empire 64's own attempts at marching forward so right now we've almost uh Oh, we had a choice here. Pahalua decided to attack into against Conton's mech. I respect it. Down with Conton. If, if you haven't, if you didn't know, Conton is uh, the one of the early Go Seven Slayers. Has beaten me a number of times. Okay, there seems to be some collusion over here between JJ and random ways. I don't know what they have against poor, innocent, average player 07, but JJ allows the infantry to move through. <laughs> How long did this take? This game take IRL? Uh, probably months. Do have a strike over here. Wow. For some reason, Cynical Boy does not move this mech. He has a completely free shot to go into this forest, so I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Okay, Rishi is here. Still just being a big old cheater over here, but uh, he's just doing very safe shuffles up here. Whoa, Conton deletes their mega tank in between Kyre 9 and Air Master. Okay. Trying to instigate a feud between the two, I assume. We've got drama in the race today. It was the bro code with random ways at the time. I see. Ooh. Airmaster, not a fan of JJ. Does take out that infantry. Marches forward. Oh. The <laughs> content's plan has worked. By deleting the mega tank, there has immediately become a feud between the two players in this area. Rhizomatic does scout these two guys is currently in the lead. Is currently in the lead so far with completely honest play. No trickery was needed. Habits kills off Air Master's leading mech. You hate to see it. kills off this infantry too. Doesn't want to delete this mech and create more feuding, much like con or uh, delete the mega, just like content did. Oh no, Havitz's mega is just going to be feeding over here. Lost and found. Uh, the player that would have been guarding against this mech march left the game. So, currently Lost and Found has it easy. The penguins do make it through here. <coughs> um, hmm. Who is this? Rhizomatic. Did Rhizomatic not attack here? Or just moved? Oh, Rhizomatic just moved down there. Okay, okay. 
Whoa. No fear. Just moves the mech right next to the mega. There might be, there must be some sort of alliance. Um, a very honest alliance in bet between AA01 Blue and Rhizomatic. Unlike, of course, Rishi, who is just cheating. A Millinator going down here to capture the other base. If you have, if you do capture a base, that will give you a mech per, per turn production. Lightning Strike trying to make their way. They do have a, a very forward mech here. Average player defending their lane kills off the invading random ways infantry and then takes out the Haluo mech. Another choice to go over here rather than striking, of course, at Rishi. The corruption. <laughs> Okay. JJ does not want to venture forward with this mech, as we do see that a millinator has put a mech in the occupy of the blocking forest, locking JJ into this corner. How rude! Okay. Cynical boy joins mechs together. Okay. Rishi is here having bypassed random ways, who I assume is the only honest player. No, no bribery worked. Uh, Conton marches past making it to uh, becoming one of the leaders in the race. Random Ways goes for the risky play again. Uh, potentially ends up losing some mechs here. But this one in the lead made the 50-50 chance successfully. Air Master <laughs> in a major conflict. Down at the bases, they're squabbling before the race even begins. Oh no, Rhizomatic! A huge blunder! This is where we're going to find out, is Rhizomatic truly as honest as we thought? Or is this the end of the mech race for Rhizomatic's early, or the, the early lead of Rhizomatic's mech? Habits does kill off. Oh no! Habits does kill off um, the leading mech over here. And then, while trying to invade someone else's lane, actually blunders into a mega tank. We have a major invasion over here. For some reason, Habits really wants to kill off Content. Habits, the most honorable player of this game, <laughs> attacking into content. Rizo sent you a nice message asking for mercy. I hope that you said you die. This, this is supposed to be a straightforward, risky mech race. I can't abide by all of this. This, this agreements and bribery. This is what we want to see. We, we want to see artillery being built to lock down bases despite having nothing but injured infantry providing vision. Okay. Lost and found. Walking forward. No fear. Emil. Okay. Please, Emil, don't, don't take pity. Don't, they wouldn't do the same for you. Thank you. Thank you. Honor. Dignity. Okay. Now make sure you do the same thing to Rishi. Alrighty. 
Lightning Strike blunders a mech, but this is an overloaded mega tank. It's seeing a it's seeing a, a have its mech, which it doesn't expect to see. Average player 07 does make it past the first hurdle. Okay. Also on its way, on their way up here. JJ. Oh, oh, okay. JJ has been released. A mill is no longer occupying the tile that would lock JJ in here. Oh, no. But does lose a mech immediately. You hate to see it. We do see some shuffling happening. Cynical boy. Cynical boy is not in an agreement with random ways. Kills off this mech. And there we go. Cynical boy is taking the safe route. This is a guaranteed way to make it to the HQ. It's a very long route, but if you're not cheating, it's probably going to be the best, the best way to do it. Okay, Rishi is now taking the safe route. Probably what happened here is that Rishi, Rishi was asking their good friend Rhizomatic uh, about how bribable uh, Emil is. And then Ryze was like, not bribable. I tried. So forced. Forced to play with honor and uh, take a slower route. And then over here, interesting. Rishi kills the Havits mech. That's a that's a choice because this is an infiltrating mech, and you kind of want your opponents to, to just be fighting over here rather than progressing forward. So I, if I was in Rishi's shoes, I probably would kill the uh, lightning strike mech, but they might have an agreement. So much slander this game. <laughs> This is high stakes. Content tied with Rishi. No cheating required. Random ways. Really wants to beat up poor innocent average player 07. Just has complete count. Wait, I thought this random ways mech was supposed to die. Maybe it, maybe it would, maybe it didn't make the right. Okay, air master. Locking in Tire 9. Wasn't able to kill this infantry though. So this me this artillery is going to get to fire. Rhizomatic moving forward. Oh my gosh. A mill just shutting down Rhizomatic. There's no chance of progress. The Omega tank is always waiting. Habits. Scooting forward. The, the hostile movement against content has kind of slowed, but they're still they're still there. Kyra 9 does kill off the infantry that was bought at the base. The mechs do march. Lost and found. There hasn't been any cross-pollination here between lost and found and average player. They've been very honest with each other. AA01 blue moving forward with the mechs. Looking good. And Mill has started to capture this base. This will unlock the ability to build a mech every single turn. Okay. Average player, brutal conflict with random ways. No progress is made. Blue also barely making it forward here. JJ Empire 64 has made progress. First time JJ has made it past his first mega hurdle. Does shift down here. Does decides to shift every turn over here. Safe from the mega does reveal that there is a mill right here waiting in these forests already. All right, cynical boy taking the safe path. Lots of mechs here. Looking good. Whoa. Rishi with no chill kills off the mech on the mountain and then strikes here. 
I thought I was definitely wrong that Rishi and Rhizomatic were getting along. They do not get along. Conton. Cool. Conton. Very good progress. Random ways. Has a very forward mech here. It has a 50 50 call or it has a safe route. Does ra random ways. Oh no, random ways. Guess is wrong. This will come down to whether or not Kyre 9 is an honorable racer. Oh no. Airmaster using the lash bonus damage is able to kill off this infantry and now this artillery does not have any vision this is a big deal this is a huge deal because this could make Kyre 9 resign the game due to having to delete their uh, their artillery and still be locked down by infantry if that happens they might not fire before resigning thus giving random ways a clear uh, like a get out of jail free card there Rhizomatic under attack by the corrupt Rishi does their best to defend attack this mech habits moving forward kind of threatened to attack Conton and then I guess they came to an agreement or something oh that is what happens Kyre 9 because of Air Master killing off the vision over here ruining this artillery leaves the game before hitting the random ways mech random ways is now firmly in the lead random ways also has a very safe path here because both of these lanes that they had to pass through were controlled by Kyra 9. And we can see here, up here, uh, there's some guaranteed winners if they can just get past <laughs> like these last lines of mech, uh, of megas. Some guaranteed uh, home stretches there. Rishi is a known corrupt player. It's factual, no bias. <laughs> Okay, A01 blue. Moving next to the Mega from Rhizomatic. We'll see if Rhizomatic has stayed honorable. Emil, a very honorable player, does kill off the mech. Lightning Strike marching forward. Average player 07 doing their best. Chooses to kill off this uh this mech here rather than or kill off. Luo's mech rather than Rishi's mech, of course, because because Rishi has bribed them. For some reason, for some reason, the mechs keep delivering themselves to this mega. Is it all to get charge for the leading mech to get one free skip over the mountains? Not worth it. Let's kill off that mech down there. JJ does get trapped. Oh no. A mill with no chill occupies the forest, trapping this mech against the mountain and next to the mega. Have it's also insanely corrupt, but nobody wanted to bribe you. <laughs> Cynical boy. Instead of just proceeding with the full health mech and going for the win, kills a four or with the full health mech, kills a four health mech from Airmaster. And then this infantry. You have Rishis here making progress. Did not fight with uh Haluo. Decides to just walk away. In second place right now right behind Random Ways, who had a huge lucky break with K9 leaving the game. K9 
content does kill off JJ's mech content. Unknown JJ hater does make sure to take out the poor, poor alien. <laughs> you were so mad at the antics. <laughs> that one was where Shadows chased you endlessly. <laughs> exactly. Random Ways. Look at the progress that Random Ways has made. But the next hurdle will be Lightning Strike. Now, Random Ways and Lightning Strike are known collaborators on the uh, Discord. But are they collaborators in mech races? We will soon find out. At least I'm pretty sure they're known collaborators on the Discord. Rhizomatic. <laughs> Rhizomatic does not realize that this mega is no longer here. So still taking uh, some side routes, I guess. All right. Habits has moved forward. Does see a penguin. Could be. Habits could have a very hard day here if AA01 Blue decides to go mech strike from the top, mech strike from the mountain, taking out. Habits is leading mech. Oh, lost and found. Oops. Lost and found does leave the game. Did I scroll out? Yeah. Uh, they do leave the game, and they leave the game. They must have timed out. They didn't move anything at all. They were in a pretty good spot. Airmaster is not the first to snag an extra base. That was a mill. Lost and found was lost and never found again. Oh no! Okay, what does that clear up? That clears up Conton's path over here. It also clears up JJ's and a mill's home stretch. That's a pretty big deal. A mill with a very high kill count moves on with this mech rather than maintaining the lock. Trying to mess with Rishi with uh, some mega movements here. Lightning Strike in second place right now. Looking, looking very good. Average player zero. Oh, oh. Okay. There wasn't any action over here yet, so we don't know if there's any corruption. Average player does take out poor innocent uh, Aluo again. This poor mech. I think this has all been in efforts to get an adder power for this leading mech over here. Average player 07 with so many injured mechs is moving forward. Progress Aluo. Very safe with this mech. Looking good. JJ Empire 64. Okay. It's the mech to here. Very safe. It all comes down to whether or not Emil is just camping this forest like a chump. It does move to threaten average player's mech over here. Clinical boy. Joins mechs together. Build another mech, I guess. It does kill random ways' as mech. There is no allegiance over here. Rishi is here. Kills. Lightning strikes mech. No love between lightning strike and Rishi. And continues to take a very safe path. So... Okay, Rishi might be on the mend, you know? There's still this, of course, going on, but there hasn't been any more corruption as of yet. I know, Random Ways is so close. And then once you get to, well, one, two, three. You can go one, two, three. Yeah, you can go diagonally and then walk by your own mega. Okay, 
Taunton just very honestly walks forward. Does random ways. Random ways with the huge blunder. Oh no. Look, look at how far back the other mechs are. If this dies, if this dies, it's like five turns of progress lost. Get to the next one. Is lightning strike a friend of random ways? We will soon find out. Airmaster kills Emil's or innocent. I think it was an infantry, maybe by the way. Rhizomatic moving forward. The main threat to Rishi's dominance are these these mechs potentially chasing down and killing the safe mech to travel. All right, have it. Moves forward. Completely safe. All of the players that were in this area have left the game. Habits has a clear shot. Habits has a... Oh my gosh, look at how much stuff is out of the way of Habits. <laughs> Once Habits gets past... Oh my gosh. This is huge. Random ways. The, the last hurdle for Habits before just like two more is about to potentially lose their forward mech, which could cause them to leave the game, giving Havits just the, the easiest of paths all the way up to the top. AA-01 Blue walks by, looking good. Okay, a very honest turn. Emil. Emil has been absolutely destroying JJ's dreams. We will see if any more of that continues. We have a double mech build. That's a lot of money. That's Sasha for you. Lightning Strike. Okay, this is where we're going to find out. Lightning Strike's forward mech does run into a mega. Absolutely devastating. Lightning Strike does not kill the random ways mech is this because there has been some corruption or is it that they just didn't look but this is huge because now this mech doesn't die which means that random ways will not leave the game which means that habit still has to make his way past the dreaded random ways mega tank <laughs> let's hear it for corruption probably corruption Hey, average player making their way. Whoa, Halu leaves the game after being harassed nonstop by average player 07, constantly killing their mechs. An interesting leave though. I did suspect that this was gonna sacrifice itself in order to get the power for this mech to then skip over a mountain mountain chain but this is big this is making it an easier trek for jj it also makes it a very easy trek for uh random ways who can now just go this way diagonally completely safely straight up to the hqs there's no more risk needed for random ways they have a clear shot JJ Empire 64 trying to make their way was able to make it to this forest that had been camped before cynical boy taking the very safe path safe path it's safe but it's slow look at the difference between the leading the leading mechs for cynical boy there's this mech and then there's these mechs way far ahead cynical boy turns back with the mechs is going to rely on the safe mech path to make it up to the HQs eventually and instead try and kill off players down here. Rishi is here, also taking the safe mech, safe, mech, safe mech path. But if we look up here at these HQs, okay, this is good. This is good for Rishi. This HQ is very far away from where Random Ways is going to start capturing them. 
So it's possible that Rishi can maybe make it up here before Rishi shuts it, before random ways can shut this down, but it's not super likely. If this makes it up here fast, what do you do? You can build recons and then lock out your opponents from actually capturing anything. Okay. So at this point, if random ways stays in the game, they should just win. We will see if that happens. Doesn't go. Okay, huge. This this is either a huge blunder or more corruption. Uh, or just not looking at the map to see which megas are now gone due to players leaving. <laughs> uh, there is a 100% pretty fast path straight up here. If... There is some bribery between habits and random ways. This is even faster. Do some following mechs. Okay, looking good. Airmaster. Airmaster trying to hold on against a cynical boy attacking in. Ooh, cuts off the, the, uh, the connection between a millinator's two lines. Rhizomatic stepping forward. Okay. Does go out, go for a hit here against Rishi's mech, trying to root out the corruption in the game. I respect it. Have it moving forward. Ooh, blocks the path of AA01 Blue's follow up mechs. Why would you do such a thing? So rude. Kills one of Cynical Boy's mechs, kills an infantry over here. Hey, hey, zero one blue marches forward. Another potential winner right here. Okay, a millinator and forward. Lots of money. Sasha has the double base. Look at these mechs go. Zoom, 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 zoom. This this mech is here just to ruin JJ's dreams. When JJ gets far enough forward, can just camp in that forest and shut everything down. All right. Lightning strike very far forward here. Looking very good. Average player zero seven. Does kill off its rhizomatic mech and capturing a base. Back here. JJ Empire 64 marches forward right into a mega tank. A huge blunder, but there is luckily a follow up mech right here. So even though this might die, unless there's corruption between Content and JJ, which isn't likely as Content is a known JJ hater. Okay, Cynical Boy steps off of this mountain for some reason. Doesn't move. Single boy kills a mech. Doesn't move much. Builds an artillery. We do have artillery play. Trying to kill off the mega tank. Whoa. This is going to give. This might be just an alliance between lightning strike and and cynical boy because this is going to give a lot of charge to lightning strike Sammy. And just fighting rhizomatic back here. Still has a safe path with the mech. Taunton also. Got some leading mechs here. Looking pretty good. Does kill the JJ mech. As I said, a known JJ hater. Random ways. What does this mech do? Does it risk it? Does it risk the biscuit? It is the leading mech. It makes the 50-50 call correctly. It is on the home stretch. This is so far looking like a random ways win game. Huge intel here. Look at this kills the habits mech now that's a habits mech that's not in its lane it's in fact in a lane where it's attacking aa01 blue random ways aa01 blue good friends is that does this mean that if this mech makes it over here to this mega and fails its role does aa01 blue not kill it Airmaster zero, or Airmaster forty-one in a brutal fight for their life. Artillery locking them down. 
It's Mega desperately trying to be relevant. It's rough. Early Megas have a tough, a tough life. Rhizomatic. A little bit of a leading force here, really far behind. Doing their best. Havits. Kills off the mech, the mech that was occupying this tile. Also very forward here, looking good. Dodges the random way Mega. Oh, does see that random ways has a very forward mech. In fact, the most forward mech. A01 Blue, not too far behind though. And A01 Blue is also on the home stretch. There's just three Megas in the way. A Millinator taking an interesting path here, but does potentially mean that the way will be clear for JJ to actually have a straight shot up here. Lightning Strike in a brutal fight. Lightning Strike attacking this infantry, okay. Average player 07 does capture another base. There's more mechs marching forward here. JJ Empire 64 did lose this mech, so should know it's safe to move all the way onto this mountain. But just wait! Oh, that's that's a whole turn lost. And it doesn't take much before JJ's on the home stretch up here. Cynical boy still taking a very safe path, safe path and trying to kill off her master for some reason. Rishi is here. Does have the adder power. Could skip this mountain chain if they wanted to. Goes in here attacking poor innocent Rhizomatic. Does go for the side slip. Is going to skip the mountain chain right here. Like so. That means the right that Rishi and JJ, of course, JJ, a very honorable player, would not be bribed by the likes of Rishi. Alright, Conton is fighting over here. Starts attacking Havis' Havis's leading mech. Gets enough charge for the power. Does get to skip this. Only three megas left to pass. Okay. That is an unfortunate play. I thought for sure that this mech was going to try and kill off the leading habits mech here. The content does instead throw away the second, the second mech. Random Ways, so close. Random Ways is also an adder. This is important. It means this mech can skip this, uh, this mountain chain. At this point, random ways should probably be sacrificing mechs into these mega tanks to get more charge. Our master trying their best to keep this base alive. Rhizomatic inching forward. Rhizomatic resigns. Okay. But Rhizomatic is not in charge of any of the end megas. So this will make some of like the mid, the mid races here a lot easier. It helps cynical boy out a lot, but it's not going to make it easier for random ways to make it across here. Okay. You have habits moving forward in random ways is mega range. Hey, A01 Blue. The mechs be charging. Make sure to divert around the JJ Empire 64 Mega. Doesn't want to risk the leading mechs. A Millinator has decided to, to uh, just try and kill off JJ. Trying to kill off a very honorable player. You hate to see it. Lightning Strike does have a Sammy normal power and is getting more charge from this Mega being hurt. Could have the intention 
to get the Sammy Super, which is going to take a lot. It's going to take more than just that Mega Tank. I think a lot of mechs dying. But with the Sammy Super, could very quickly knock out average player 07. It's for 07. Unexpectedly. Lightning Strike coming to JJ's aid. Kills off the mech from a millinator. Okay, average player. 07. Fails to kill the mech on the mountain due to the defense power boost. And then uses a power of their own. Doing their best, trying to catch up. But look how far behind they are in the leading mech race. JJ Empire 64. Infantry did make it past this uh, Air Master Mega. There might be some alliance going on there. Oh no, you hate to see it. Um, oh my gosh, you really hate to see it. Both of the leading JJ mechs taken out by the known JJ hater content. How unfortunate. Cynical boy hits this mega down to three, keeps pressuring down this base, as well as going for this very safe path with the mech. Once it's passed here, if Cynical boy is paying attention to which megas are now gone, can basically just run straight forward. Rishi is here, moving in towards this base, going for the safe path up here. Rishi might be running out of people that they can corrupt with their influence. Taunton moving forward. Leading mech. It's not in it's not in first place, but it is in third. It's looking pretty good. Does kill off both of JJ's leading mechs. No mercy Conton. That's what they call him. Random Waste does kill off this Habits mech. This could be a huge blunder. A huge blunder. If Random Waste kills this mech and then walks into Habits' mega tank, there will be no possible bribery that could save that. Waits. I don't know why random, way, random Ways waited with this mech. There's no reason not to go here. There's, there's zero chance someone got there before you. Huge blunder. You don't wait with your leading mech. This gives the chance for Lightning Strike to potentially become the, the winner getting much farther. Habits. It's poor six health mech trying its best to make it forward. AA-01 blue also very far forward right now. And if if, if Random Ways keeps waiting with this mech, it's going to get overtaken. Oh, JJ Empire does get to see a penguin. If there's one thing I know about JJ, it's that he kills a penguin on sight. I would not be surprised if the very first action JJ Empire 64 takes on his turn is to kill this mech penguin. Okay, a millinator moving forward with all the mechs, keeping a contain on poor poor JJ. I know. The content infantry just keep it to move forward. I don't know if that's an alliance or if that's not wanting to give charge. Average player 07 marches forward. Okay, looking good. JJ, first thing done, does kill a penguin. That's what I'm saying. When JJ sees a penguin, JJ kills a penguin. Marches forward, doing the best to stay alive. Cynical boy scroll down a bit let's, let's just zoom in on the areas that matter 
Senegal boy killing off Air Master's control, potentially going to take this base from him. Rishi is here. Going for another base. Attacks the Mega. Trying to get charge. Rishi wants to, of course, cheat his way past the final obstacles. With Adder Powers. Are we surprised? No. We are not surprised. Content. Moving forward. Also, <laughs> start attacking habits, it looks like. One of the leaders in the game currently. Shuffling, searching for more JJs to kill. Random Ways also kills a penguin. Does this mech wait for no reason again? Random Ways, what are you doing? <laughs> Had the lead, has the safe guaranteed path, decides to just stand here. Is Random Ways just hoping that Havits leaves the game? I don't know. Did Random Ways forget? That they have a mech here. Okay, Air Master. Oh, Air Master with a huge upset over Cynical Boy. Infiltrates. We'll be able to start beating up that artillery soon. Habits, habits, desperately searching for the mech. I know. Random ways would have won this game if random ways just took the safe path at this at this point. A A zero one blue, marching forward. A millinator. Huge mech army, searching for any JJ sympathizers that may be hiding out in this region. Lightning strike. Making really good progress. Dodges this mega lightning strike in a astounding comeback. Due to JJ just standing here, is so close to making it to the HQs and winning the game. Average player 07 is next. Does kill off a lightning strike mech. If this mech dies, it will be a huge setback for Lightning Strike. Average player moving forward. Very honorably. Does give some charge for uh, Lightning Strike there. JJ Empire 64, still alive. Huge mistake from Lightning Strike to not kill this infantry. Could use all the charge that uh, we could get here. Does shuffle some megas around. Cynical Boy still taking the safe path. We will see if Cynical Boy starts sprinting. If they've realized that all of the megas, except for random ways, have, uh, have given way. Rishi is here. Taking a little slow path. Doesn't trust Air Master. Starts attacking Omega. Knocks it down to nine. It can no longer one shot. Also, Cuts off the penguins with the support of his very own mega watching on the sideline. Okay. Haunton does kill off the millinator mech. On the heels of lightning strike currently. Random ways. What does Random Ways do with this mech? It has waited for two turns. A waiting mech is no better than a dying mech. It decides now to take that step forward. Is it too late? Probably. This mech is really close. But Random Ways, back in the game. In third place. Went from first all the way down. All the way down to third. Didn't have to. Could have taken the side path if didn't want to go for the 50-50. He knew when Havits moved the Mega. How did he know? Does he have a spy? No. If he had a spy, he would have just moved forward. Read like a... I know. Read like a book.
Air Master and Cynical Boy in a brutal confrontation. Cynical Boy also soon to regret building an artillery. Yeah, in that time he could have just looked around and walked around. It's true. Habits walking forward. Still sacrificing mechs to random ways there. These mechas do not move. A hey, zero one blue. Marching forward, penguins. Many will fall. And they're gonna fall to random ways. Which is more charge. A millinator though is Sasha. Could stop building mechs to get a lot of money and wipe the charge of everyone else in the game. Lightning strike. Oh my gosh. Lightning strikes leading mech has been sniped. There's no reason to ever, ever let someone's mech live when they're this far forward. But here's the question. Is this over for this mech? It's not. Lightning Strike can use the power to give this mech another 10% defense. It would live at 1 and take 20 turns to capture the HQ. But it could do it. Or the base. Does Lightning Strike try and save it? No. Lightning Strike accepts the loss. Average player moving forward. Huge kills. Almost had enough for another charge. JJ building up that charge bank for multiple normal powers in a row. Has the scouting infantry to get past the brutal content killers. All right, cynical boy. Trying desperately to stay alive with no production. 12k in the bank. The mech, the mech, Cynical Boy did look at who's lost the game. The mech is now on the home stretch. It's very far behind, but it is on the home stretch. Rishi is here. What's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, and sixth place. That's what corruption gets you. It gets you sixth place. Does kill here. Does have a side slip. I'm gonna step over these mountains. There we go. Movement cheating to get past the obstacles. It's what you expect. At this point, Rishi has a guaranteed path. That's very quick. Just a slight detour to the left to get past contents megas. Content. With the slay, with the with the kill, does go for another base. It's now attacking in over here. Spots in infantry. Random ways. Does make it to this forest. Almost there. Ah. Oh, those two turns lost. One, two, three, four. In fourth place currently. From first to fourth. Does kill off two penguins. You hate to see it. Air Master. In a brutal battle. Just to live in the corner. Oh. The mech dies. That mech is killed off, though. Airmaster does have double base against one base that can't produce anything. There's only one unit left here for Cynical Boy that has vision. Is Content taking your boys? Your base? Oh, I didn't notice this. Content timed it out nicely. Does take Havitz's base. Havitz is now stuck with this number of mechs. 
and no more. If these are gone, it's game over for Habits. <laughs> you were just honorably and peacefully racing. <laughs> Base gone. Habits marches forward. One of the leading players. Only one set of obstacles left. This mech doesn't even move. It's too stunned at what just occurred. Watching, it wanted to watch as its base fell. AA, hey, hey, zero one blue. Three leading penguins are left. They move forward carefully. Emilinator, the killer. Suffocating JJ, completely ignoring random ways. Marches forward. Does attack poor, poor JJ's infantry. Also, also attacks from the mountain, making sure that JJ can't use the scouting technique to get the mech to leapfrog forward. Lightning strike. Oh, and the Millinator did it. Oh, that must have happened last turn. The Millinator killed the infantry. And then right here, I think. Lightning strike from first place all the way down to tied for last. You hate to see it. And what can you do in mech racing? All you can do is try, try again. And shuffle some tanks. Average player moving forward. You must respect Lightning Strike for not leaving the game. JJ Empire 64 hits the mech. No! Why? Why sacrifice your leading mech to a known JJ hater? And shuffle some tanks. Frustration. Cynical boy. Desperately trying to keep this base alive. Shuffles a tank and starts racing forward with the lone mech. Only obstacle ahead of it. Random ways. Rishi's here. Moves forward. Has the home stretch. Is free to go straight for this base. Will Rishi do it? Rishi down here fighting. Trying to get... Rishi should be attacking these megas to try and get charge. This is a race after all. And, of course, Rishi is known for corruption. Content 725 does for the first time in Content's life does he show mercy JJ soon you will see for the first time maybe only time Conton has spared JJ random ways with the side slip does have the mech right on past AO AA01 blue there's only Two Megas from the world's most corrupt player standing in the way. Does this mean that the game is over? Does Rishi's corruption know no bounds and will even let someone win just to disregard the rules? Airmaster, 41. Takes out the vision for a cynical boy. This base is officially dead. Well, I guess it can delete. It can delete the artillery. May have to have its home taken from him by Conten. Moves forward. Loses. Oh, no. All three of the leading mechs for Havits in peril. 
these two threatened by Megas. This one threatened by penguins in the woods. AA01 Blue. Does AA01 Blue show mercy? Yes. And that's how you know penguins are good people. You might ask, is that corruption? No, that's penguin being good people. A millinator moving forward, making sure that even if JJ managed to get something by, a millinator will hunt them down. Lightning Strikes turn does kill off average players, leading Mech in frustration for losing their own. It continues the slow walk forward. Average player, 07. Does attack. Rishis, here's Mech, providing charge for both of them. JJ Empire 64 does have the chance to spare habits get some sweet sweet vengeance hitting a mills mech moves this mega moves this mega now before i end this turn when we see what happens? I want you all to know that JJ64, Empire64, is the admin in charge of tournaments, is in charge of cheaters, and following the rules. Oh man. In an officially licensed international race, JJ Empire 64 did not fulfill his role. He also accepts cash bribes. Does this throw the legitimacy of all Advance Wars by Web tournaments into question? Yes. Yes, it does. That's a huge scandal. Did you know that in a tournament, if you have a tie game, it is up to JJ Empire 64 and him alone to decide the winner. Can you trust a man who will not kill a mech when asked to? I say no. It's a new boy. Oh boy, as Sammy against a random ways mech on the mountain. And all but bring it to two. Cynical Boy spares the leading half its mech. Now, Cynical Boy is not part of the tournament administration, but he is a content creator with fans and an influence over them. Can we trust someone? <laughs> to make videos and edit them if they will not follow the rules. Oh. I've, I've learned so much about members of the community here. And the most corrupt of them all. Tax Megas kills penguins, occupies three bases when they should have but one. And orders orders attacks that are doomed to fail. Get them go. Being rewarded. Anton does kill off an Emilinator mech. Fights for their life. Not really, because they killed off Habits' his base. But fights for their life against Habits. Has their eye on Habits' leading mech. Content. 
moving forward. Shuffling their megas. Random ways. One of the leaders in the game. Kills off a mech. Getting charge. Take starts taking the safe path. Wasn't thinking about the safe path before. But is so now. If random ways can move to here and then to here and then have an add or normal power, they can skip right to the end. They do start attacking. Trying to generate charge. Airmaster has cynical boys. Artillery on lock. Is about to have triple base. Shuffle some megas. Avits didn't lose. Had all three of the leading mechs in peril at the, at the end of last turn. Didn't lose a single one. Hi, can I do a quick summary for those joining late? This is the international mech race of 2022. <laughs> And we have seen nothing but corruption amongst prominent members of the community in order to win and get advantages in this honorable race, ruining the legitimacy of on-site tournaments, of mech races everywhere, and of our content creators. Habits. Habits. Who was spared <laughs> in three places does not spare <laughs> random ways. Is there some unknown grudge? I do not know. <laughs> After Cotton took your face, the gloves came off and the rule book was thrown out. So, Habits has again put in peril two of his mechs his leading mechs AA 01 blue with the side slip scoots on forward mechs go the home stretch there may be some conflict soon if Rishi tries to walk around Conten's Megas. They'll go here into this forest. And AA-01 Blue will move this mech forward onto this mountain and block Rishi's approach. The question is who is in charge of the least felonies. <laughs> A millinator. Forward. Still blocking the path of JJ. Shuffles some mega tanks. Lightning strike, who had been in first place all the way down to last. Average player, 07. Forward. In the mid, the middle of the pack, there's a rough game ahead of them. JJ Empire 64, who's only ahead of Lightning Strike, does side slip. Oh no! But look who was waiting for the side slip. Trapped on the mountain. It could be worse though. There could be a content mega tank waiting. But this is karma. This, JJ, is karma for not upholding your duty. Cynical boy. Cynical boy. What is this? You see a one health mech. You see a six health mech. You can't let... <laughs> if you were the last line of defense. You cannot let their mech walk by you. 
What is that? <laughs> kill... Who cares if a one health mech makes it by? You have to kill the six health. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Backstabs and says only allowed to... It doesn't matter if the full health makes it. The six health captures the base anyway. That's not a fact. Cynical boy backstabbed themselves by not killing the six health mech. Does build a medium tank to occupy the base. Rishi is here. Does Rishi is here? Go here or here? That's the question. Goes here. Potentially risking this route. But will not get blocked by A01 Blue. Content, one of the leaders in the race, doesn't risk the biscuit. Tries to take a safe path. Takes down here. Takes a safe path around nothing. No reason to move back here with these mechs. Just gloating over capturing Habits's base. Right away, should have been at the finish line or almost there. <laughs> For the double weight, yeah. Anyways, inching forward, good thing too, because <laughs> both of these, both of these megas were lying in wait to hit the mountain. Should really probably attack with these mechs. Airmaster sixty-four just has to save up some money for an artillery. Well, maybe not though. It would give. Cynical Boy enough charge, or almost enough charge, to uh, get the victory march. Habits. Moving forward with the 6 health mech, it has nothing in its, in its way now. This can capture. A01 Blue. Oh no, AA01 Blue! Has not looked at who's left the game. Doesn't realize that they are at the home stretch. There's nothing in their way. This is a terrible delay. Because now they won't show up until after Rishi is here has already captured the base. A game losing decision. When you make it 20 days and then throw the game. A millinator with no chill uses market crash, stopping lightning strike and sending the boy from ever, ever making it to those supers. So shooting down random ways pretty heavy, heavily. Moves the one health mech out. Lightning strike. Doing their best. Shuffle some Megas. Moves the mech forward. Average player 07. Fighting over here. Also moving forward. Very slowly. JJ Empire 64. Does get this mech forward. It was trapped, but it survived. Syndical Boy. Desperately. Trying to make it to the end. Lost a lot of charge. Victory March is not going to be on the tables. But there's still double time. Rishi is here. Does Rishi is here risk the biscuit? There's no reason to. But Rishi is here could step onto this mountain. Wow. Rishi is here did risk the biscuit. But risked it on the other mountain. Wow, if Content had been here, Rishi would have been in shambles. As if known corrupt mods, Rishi and Content weren't working together. It's possible. 
would I put it past Conton to let Rishi buy? Conton, a moderator of the community. Did they, as the last line of defense, let the most corrupt player in the world pass? Conton, who has been a moderator so long that he was made into an admin on the Discord. Did he let this mech through? I don't know if I can trust the community anymore. The corruption is just so great. The doubt is everywhere. Random ways. No chill. Runs over here. Kills the six health mech. Air Master shuffles. Besides, how on earth are they going to deal with this medium tank? And terrain tactics. The infantry. They zoom. Rishi is so corrupt he can't even remember what he was corrupt about. I mean, there's no reason to ever accept a bribe as the last line of defense. Habits. Habits. Devastated as they see the Rishi mech on the mountain. That's a very gutsy guess yep. the six health mech realizes it's already lost it's here at the same the same time but it captures in a fourth of the time that this mech does the penguins doing their best hasn't realized these players aren't here is slowly trudging forward with death as the most corrupt player already a millinator also on the home stretch does lose a mech potentially to Rishi's here or maybe not for this is Rishi He may have only gotten mercy from one player many, 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 many times. <laughs> Lightning strike. Sticking in there to the very end. Average player, 0 7. The, the bottom of the lead of the pack, but. If, if there's enough fighting up here, maybe. Maybe they can get in. JJ Empire 64. A man who we used to know does not move forward. Cynical boy. With their home locked down with a medium tank and a single mech marches forward. Doesn't even shuffle. Megas. Rishi is here. Kills a millimeter's mech. Attacks down here. Again, sending units to untimely demise. Marches forward. Starts capturing Com Tower to put the fear of God in JJ. You won the race. You haven't won the race yet. Anton forward. Inches 
closer and closer. Unfortunate for both Habits and Content and AA01 Blue. They will not show up until after Rishi has already captured the base. Jay does not feel fear. Content shuffles. The Mega of Shame does not move. Random ways desperately attacks to generate the charge needed to get his adder power. Side slip skips over the Rishi Mega as if it was needed. And is now close capturing a base. Now imagine if this was here two turns earlier, it would already be capturing a base. Airmaster 41. Marching forward. Still building. Didn't save up for anything to kill this mega uh, this medium tank. Habits with the six health and mech. Also starts capturing a comp tower. Turn advantage. It is turn advantage. It's true. All three of these players technically make it across at the same turn. A01 blue. Four. Kill off that. Has Penguin on its way. A Millinator also almost there. But still make sure to lock in poor JJ. Lightning strike inches forward. Used to be the front runner. It's now nothing. Average player. Zero seven. Still occupied in a brutal fight down here. Has a few mechs trying their best. JJ Empire 64 fighting. Getting trapped. Moving in. Desperately trying to break through, but the one health on Millinator mechs, they're too strong. Cynical Boy. Does Cynical Boy know that Random Ways is still in the game? Yes. Starts taking the safe route. Rishi is here, can start capturing a base, decides to capture this base. A huge blunder. I hate to see it. Why is this a huge blunder? That's because Rishi spotted the Havits mech over here. Should capture this base so that it'll be easier to attack the base the Havits' mech goes for. I hate to see it. I hate to see it. It's the base closer to the orange star. HQ, you're trying to take out Cynical Boy? Oh, I see. Because you don't want them to take out your HQ. It makes sense. It makes sense. But it's also the base that's further away from protecting your HQ. Do you just protect it with recons? But I guess you can't. No, you can. You got lots of comp towers. Alright. She's here. Moving forward. Content 725. Almost there. Random ways. Makes it through. Starts capturing a city. The first to do so. All right. There's some shuffling of the mechas. Lying. <laughs> attempting to root out this mech. Airmaster. Who has... Decided to just... Uh, kind of win the start of the game here. It's slowly moving forward. Have its 93. Forward. Oh! Starts capturing the base that's closer to the person who got there first. Don't do that.
AA01 Blue spots the Mega. Or not the Mega, the Mech from Habits capturing the base. We'll actually get there in time to stop it. Ah, oh, you thought content was a hit over here. I got you. A millinator. Forward. Also the home stretch. Still has the one health mix to lock JJ in here. Stopped buying things. Very smart. Still going. Lightning strike. Crutches forward. Hasn't given up hope. Average player, 07. Side slip. Crutch forward. That's a weird move. I don't know why that side slip moved one tile. It should be gone over here. JJ Empire 64. Someone who gave up his entire reputation for this game. Kills a penguin, of course. Rakes past, maybe the one health mix. Nickel boy. All he has is a medium tank on his base and a single mech on the home stretch. But they can't risk it. It's gonna go here, and then it's gonna double time to here. And he's gonna try and take this HQ. Rishi is here, takes the base. And then uses a side slip. Move this mech forward. Okay. I would not use the side slip there. Uh, because the fight has only just begun. Content. Did not realize that there's no mech over here. Moves forward. Random ways. Starts capturing a base. Okay. Goes off a penguin. Could take Orange Star out. Has so many options. I get the side slips in while you can. Okay. Air Master. Trying to figure out how to deal with this medium tank. Starts attacking it. Habits. Forward sees the content mech and the Cobalt Ice mech. Should lose all hope. Because this mech moves here and still sees this, it can then attack and interrupt it. A01 Blue does move forward. Look at the respect. Doesn't even start capturing the top tower. Oh! It doesn't actually see it. Of course, because of the because of the rain. Maybe up to this mech to spot it. A millinator. Moving forward. Knew there was no more mega no no more mega over here. He's about to cross the finish line. Lightning strike. Fred just forward. Best they can. Just a straight line so far. Not running in any megas. Doing a great job. Trying to make it through. Unfortunately for them, very few players have actually left in their path. JJ Empire 64 busts past the one health mechs. They are no longer keeping him tied down. Nickel Boy moves Megas before moving the infantry. So close. They're making it to the HQ. Rishi is here. Goes for the Teal Galaxy HQ. That's Lightning Strike. And builds the recon. Fountain passes the finish line. It doesn't move anything else. Random Ways does have a base. The fight has only just begun. Stop building infantry down here. You need your money. 
Air Master 41 attacks this medium tank. Build some more infantry. Havits moves forward, starts capturing this comm tower. One turn away from getting this base. There's two players that can stop it. A01 blue. One of those players. Oh! Didn't. Didn't move on to the mountain to scout this out. This gives. This potentially gives Havits this base. It's up to whether what Rishi wants to do with this recon. Millinator breaks through, stands on this comm tower, scaring Havits to death. It's now a race, though. They are both right next to each other's HQs. I do believe you race towards the HQ of the other person that's racing towards your own. Okay. Lightning strike. Double time. Rush forward. Kills off this infantry. The mech on its way. It's made great time. And then Lightning Strike just resigns because Rishi's on the HQ. This is a huge resign because this now means that this mech is free to hit this mech and stop the base capture without giving up an HQ cap. Average player 07. Forward. Seeing players drop by threat. Drop like flies. JJ Empire 64. Fredges forward. For some reason, step to there. Doesn't realize that all the players in front are gone. Cynical boy. Double time to pass. Tax. Doesn't double time. That's a weird play. Rishi is here. about to ruin some lives. No, never mind. What? <laughs> Rishi is here, desperately trying to make it to Orange Star. So much so that they are willing to let the penguins get this base. I believe this is what they call corruption. The corruption of Rishi. <laughs> Rishi known griever does stop the habits capture. Well, Content starts capturing random ways as HQ. I guess they don't rush towards each other's HQ. Random ways in the fit of fear. What does he do? Walks over here. Keeps building down here. Stop that. Airmaster attacks the medium tank with everything. Have it lost the opportunity to capture this base. Starts capturing this one. There's only four Habits mechs left. The base was ruined. There's five. There's one over here just chilling. <laughs> Sparing penguins for the Go 7 replay priority queue implications. A01 Blue has a base. <laughs> and, and as a thank you, <laughs> the penguins will not be corrupted for no reason. I don't know if pipe runners are banned. You can. Like, there's not much you could do with a pipe runner, there's no connection. But I guess you could build it and then step here. It would just take a while. Um, but yes, penguins will not be swayed. Attacks Rishi's recon despite having the base spared. Because of it. Or from Rishi. Didn't know about this. this mech. A millinator. 33k in the bank starts capturing a base. He's going to be able to start another one very soon. 
very scared of the penguins currently. Average player 07. Blissfully unaware of the trials that lie ahead. JJ Empire 64. Had their base spared, or their HQ spared, keeps trudging forward. Alright, no, no, no. Have uh, thanks, she was next in. Right. Rigi, cynical boy. <laughs> Still taking it way too slow. No double time threat. Must be trying desperately to get to the victory march. Rishi is here. The two health recon rushes over, sees it's all clear. There was nothing to fear. S moves over here anyway. Starts capturing the black hole. HQ, which is Airmasters. The, the winner of the bottom left corner area. You just broke your, your losing streak while watching the stream. You now know the secret to victory. Yeah. <laughs> Rishi's here at 17k. Builds a medium tank. The strongest unit on the back line. Conton with 26k in the bank. Spares random ways just for base capturing this HQ would have been a huge play because it would have given Conton a base right here able to defend his HQ but Conton didn't know random ways starts capturing Snickle Boy's HQ Captures another base. Builds a recon. Doesn't have as much money as the other players. You know why. His units have continued to be built down here. Despite doing nothing in the game. <laughs> Airmaster. Can do nothing. But march forward. Habits. Gets a base. Has a new home. You wanted Orange Star to win because I was the only Sam you were aware of. A01 Blue. Uh, looks like the mech got trapped on this medium tank, and then the mech, <laughs> and then the medium tank got built. An airport starts getting captured. Doesn't start capturing the comm tower of of JJ. No Nader also going for double captures here. 35k in the bank. A lot of money. Average player, 07. Still blissfully unaware of what's happening up above. Side slips, trying to make it. So close. Sees a mech ahead in the same lane. Side slip from JJ. <laughs> Sees penguins on the white nova hq quickly uses the power and rushes forward cynical boy resigns didn't even go for it they might not take your hq Could have at least passed the finish line. Rishi is here. No longer fears anyone will capture this HQ. Rushes back. Gets vision. For some reason decides to finish the capture on this city rather than going for a base. Does kill a penguin. Cotton. 29k in the bank. Gets a base. Random ways. Decides to complete the capture on the city despite having airports and comm towers and bases. Goes for AA01 Blues HQ. And interrupts the base from Emilinator. 
have it. Kills off recon and builds a medium tank. We have three medium tank medium tanks down here, and now Jess, the Jess pick will start to matter. A01 blue. Their HQ is under threat. What do they do? They take the airport. They reveal the medium tank. And they stand on this. Uh, this HQ. Build a recon. All over. A millinator. Can a millinator capture Havitz's HQ before Havitz can capture theirs? Average player still blissfully unaware. Moves forward. Rishi with a huge blunder doesn't move this mega tank. Uh, despite being right ahead of the uh, team three before. JJ Empire 64 sees that the penguins are sparing him. Look at them go. So many mechs, almost to the finish line. Rishi is here. He's walking over to the right with his mech. Starts going for an airport. Goes for a base. Builds another recon. Goes for a comm tower. Base locks themselves. He tried to save AA01 Blue, but alas. The one vision is super hard to play with. Content decides not to make any enemies with random ways. Random ways going for the airports. Continues capturing the HQ. It's almost over for the penguins. Habits, instead of capturing the base that he's on, we'll go for the city. Building inventory. Habits is so poor because his home was taken from him. AA01 Blue. Doing their best to defend JJ. Millinator. Can't save. The penguins, for some reason, only building mechs despite having 39k in the bank. Average player has passed the finish line and has seen that it is a busy place. JJ Empire 64 still making their way up. They start saving cash now. No. Keep building a mech. This is a mech race after all. Rishi is here. The medium tank to kill. Mech attacks the mill for some reason. The medium tank decides not to kill the other medium tank. Okay. Building infantry instead. Fountain. Kills off one of the penguins. Goes for another base. All of these bases are available. In fact, Fountain should really just walk over and build um, an APC. APC? Mega tank. Mega tank makes sense too. Oh, with an APC. Or maybe an APC doesn't make sense. You can just. You can just walk it straight to the HQ. It's 3v3 teams. Somebody was telling you to cap contents HQ? Random ways kills the penguins. No mercy. And builds a copter from the airport that the penguins captured. 
have it with the turbo charge. For some reason, it attacks Conton. Starts going for random ways his HQ. It was just to get Conton off the HQ. It's all understandable. To avenge the penguins. A millinator. Holding the line. Goes with the Conton HQ. Builds a missile. The first vehicle built for Millinator. It does have good vision. There are airports. It's not bad. Average player retreats. Missile Chan has arrived. JJ is almost there. He's so close. There's just one mega in the way. Rishi is here. Separated from his HQ. Three players in the way. That's really tries to knock JJ out of the game. Conton. Does Conton make the beat the the beeline? Conton saves random ways. I don't Conton throw in the game. Content, oh my gosh, Content! Oh my, wait, wait! Content super throw in the game! Content attacks habits! Stopping captures and then resigns. Wow. Content known moderator keeping the map committee down. And this, this is going to cause the death of a millinator. Wow. The corruption is real. Habits. Trying desperately. Take out random ways. Millinator. There's nothing they can do. Their HQ's gonna fall. They have a missile. They they, they did it. They built the mega tank. Average player zero seven. Forward. JJ Empire sixty four. Nothing they can do. So close. So close to the finish line. Rishi is here. Does Rishi have mercy? That's the real question. No. Rishi takes out JJ64. Someone who gave up everything for this game. They gave up their entire image in the community. And Rishi snuffed them out of it. Random ways. I assume captured this. <laughs> Must have one shots. Is able to save their HQ. Well, then also going for Havitz's. It's all over. Rishi is going to win. I assume. Has their entire force in between random ways and their HQ. I guess they're these bases right here. So maybe random ways can make it down here. Average player has entered the scene. Well, there's a lot of comm towers. Yeah. <laughs> R 
where she now attacks random ways. For some reason, attacks over to the right. That won't save you, Rishi. Okay, okay, it does attack over here. Hit the infantry, there's just one left. Came over just to watch as Habits loses this HQ. Havits was eliminated by capture. Also didn't resign, so Random Waste has a lot of towers. One shot's the recon. One shot the infantry. One shot the recon. I think I think I suspect that uh Random Waves might win this. Average player, 07, still in it, gets a comm tower. Rishi's turn. There's a bomber. The battlecopter's coming over to try and defend the HQ. Bomber move forward with an APC. We have a T-copter built. Double T-copter. Triple T-copter. Double infantry. Random ways. Copter's one shots. APC. Recon one shots infantry. Random ways hungry for power. <laughs> Captures another comm tower. It's an anti to deal with this bomber. Kills a transport copter. Goes for average player 07's HQ. Decided not to build anything from this base. Average player, move forward. Rishi uses the bomber, kill the recon, builds an anti-air. Can't. Oh, Rishi can definitely kill off this mech to get the T-copter out, but uh, doesn't do so. Goes out with this T-copter instead. Trying to sneak past. Random ways. One shot the bomber. Get a side slip out of it. Infantry one shot. Infantry on. On cities. Builds a recon for vision. Oh, that one survived. It is a roll. Kills. It's only a roll though, because Random Ways didn't finish this capture earlier. If this capture had finished earlier, it would have given him average player 07's comm towers. The blunder is real. The mech does kill in one shot the anti air. Anti air's taken out. This is what Rishi's corruption got him. Nothing. With a brutal death at the hand of random ways. Do HQs have even after the cities they become they have four defense stars? Okay. Rishi totally locked out of the top. What's going on at the bottom? Rishi has captured many bases down here. I think that's just from taking uh, taking HP, so. Both have a lot of comp towers. We have a bomber built. The HQ for Rishi is being captured. Random Ways has it. And that's why you don't cheat, folks. Cheating gets you second place. <laughs> Really one of the games of all time. Well cheated by all. Random Ways is the victor. GG. And Random Ways won that while also waiting with the lead mech for two turns. Which is very impressive. It would have been a complete landslide if uh, he just didn't do that. That was goofy. This is the mech race. It takes a long time. 
He'll take second as the underdog in the story. Okay. With so few Vegas deleted your lane. <laughs> he didn't really have that many towards the end, though. It's just a 38 turn game. Uh, it started in 2022. On the 10th of... Uh, yeah. 38, 38 turns. Um, looks like it took five months. As they tend to do. I don't know if there's been a mech march of 2023 started. I did play in the mech march of 2021. You're emotionally exhausted. <laughs> it is quite the game. And so many... So many reputations have been ruined because of it. The 2023 mech race has not been started yet. That's where my web can never be trusted again. And time for one more game. <laughs> we have... In the set, we have... I have a typo in my... I think there, but it's fine. We have Kombi versus Hachi on Advance Wars 2. Sturm, Cossack Finale. I have a feeling that you are supposed to play as Sturm. <laughs> when you are uh, player two here. But even more terrifying than Sturm, we have Hachi with four comm towers versus combi. With no comm towers? <laughs> okay. Well, Combi is going to have very strong infantry, which is very good for this map. Uh, however, I do not think if Hachi plays. If Hachi plays. At a, at, a, at a high level, I do not think this is possible to lose. You feel bad? I also feel bad for combat here. Or static. Which player? Okay. Alright, both players are going for their bases. Looking good. Alright, alright. For some, I mean, this will give up going for um, like this city. You go for this one right away, but it'll give you some more money. Now, it will take Hachi a little while to make it to the super here. So, as long as Kanbai can kind of bully Hachi out of it before the super gets uh, involved, then things should be fine. Surprised that Kanbai can buy all the infantry? Just barely. And I don't... Yeah, we'll be, be able to barely be able to... So, next turn. At this point, Hachi should probably start building tanks to harass Kanbai. Like so. We like a single tank built here? There it is. Barely able to afford all that. Okay. Does attack over here, and then Hachi just needs to chain this. No! This tank is not covered! Okay, well, Kalvai's gonna like this attack. For smack. Actually, a, a weird... A weird choice to attack the tank from over here, because that does actually allow this tank to hit back. The other sides would have been better. Because 
Hachi uh, went for this city. Too slow to get this without being interrupted. The combine infantry are pretty scary. They do have that extra defense, too. Um, so Hachi can clear this. The smack here, and then the tank and the tank smack. Pretty... No! Well, Hachi uses the tank to kill the infantry instead. Which is not great. Then attacks the tanks of the infantry. Oh, no. Okay. Gets a 7-6 trade against Combi. That's that's tough to do. Six seven. All right, seven uh, seven six again. Force did not help. Oh. Hachi's in trouble. The tank count is going to start leaning in Kanpai's favor here. Kanpai attacks. Tank on the city. Moves over here. Attacks the infantry. Hachi needs to build a few more tanks and then probably save up a little bit of cash. Have a huge wave of units. Uh, really don't want to go for these, these kind of attacks against... Um, by he's going to be able to beat you on uh, equal uh, equal unit fights, especially if he's on a city. Even if you have quad com tower, oh, come by bullying Hachi back. Can they get this com tower? I mean, come by double com tower against quad com tower Hachi. She's in trouble. Having the base put under a lot of pressure. This is where Hachi, to win this game, Hachi can still do it. Even down six properties. All Hachi has to do is start doing some infantry turns. In preparation for a really good super. But the tanks do need to actually kill off the combi tanks. Rather than... Okay, this is not looking good. Hachi's in trouble. Isn't floating enough money. Lost a city, or the city gets taken. I can't buy. We had 22k to 15k. And with a very strong unit, a local unit advantage. Hachi had a lot of infantry over here. But not much elsewhere. There isn't enough money in Hachi's bank. Hachi is going to get the super, but there's just not going to be quite enough stuff to be uh, buildable here. Fall back. Get the tank, sure. Oh. It's up here. Builds an artillery. In the tank. No! Hachi, no! <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> when Hachi uses his super, his units become half price, even if they're built from a base. So these, these could have been half price, but then they also, it also lets you build uh, from your cities as if they're bases for the turn. So at this point, Hachi can pretty much just afford a bunch of infantry. So a bunch of infantry and artillery. Mistakes were made. Come by. Overwhelming. Hit this artillery. Kill off this tank. Kill off the artillery. It's broken through. It's threatening the HQ capture. Hachi has a very strong infantry count over here. And uh, not much more. Tank over here. The tank there. Doesn't even move anything else. Combat goes for the HQ cap. Goes for the Samurai Spirit. Deletes everything. Doesn't need to. Why is Combat deleting everything? That is because... 
that is because that uh, combine normally has plus 30% defense. Samurai Spirit gives you another 30% defense on top of that with the power buff. And then the HQ gives you plus 40% defense. So that's 30 plus 30 plus 40, which is 100% defense. It is impossible to injure this infantry. And Gucci Gang resigns. It's okay, they're learning. Yeah. This wasn't like a league. It wasn't like a super serious game. This is why Convai is banned. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, if you want to play Hachi, um, I would highly recommend saving up money when you're getting close to your super. And then you pop your super like at the start of the turn, basically. And then you just build a ton of vehicles off of your cities. Usually the first, the first one, you just build like a ton of tanks. And then... Uh, when your power ends, those tanks go back to being full price tanks and they'll be able to, to give you enough charge for your next super and you just spend your time saving up money for that super. <laughs> you already here. Go someone said trouble base skip. <laughs> GG. That was a quick one. Okay, well, I've heard that the next game on the list is really long. I don't have that much time. So I'm going to I'm gonna call the stream early today. Sorry about that. And we'll have the 42-42 versus... Uh, I don't know who this is. A, a Chinese name? Sasha. <laughs> next, next time. Yeah, it is. Apple time! And then... Uh, I do have a Patreon if you'd like to join it. I enjoy the... Uh, <laughs> I do appreciate everyone who supports. Good night, everyone. It's Thanks for watching. Go, seven, king of the penguins. Of all the penguins, he is king. It's Go, seven, king of the penguins. Being king of the penguins.